This LOS is determined whether a fiscal policy is expansionary or contractionary. Fiscal policy. As economic growth weakens, or when it is in recession, a government can enact an expansionary fiscal policy, for example, by raising expenditure without an offsetting increase in taxation. Conversely, by reducing expenditure and maintaining tax revenues, a contractionary policy might reduce economic activity. Fiscal policy can therefore play an important role in stabilizing an economy. Okay, on this slide we're going to look now at a fiscal multiplier. Remember, recall we had the money multiplier, which was 1 divided by the reserve ratio. Just a quick little review. And uh, so, for example, if the reserve ratio was 5%, the money multiplier would have been 1 divided by 0 0.05 equals 20 times. Okay, quick little review from the monetary policy. And if we increase the reserve ratio to 10%, then the money multiplier would have been 1 divided by 0.1, which is 10 times. And uh, that was a lower increase in the money supply. Okay, now uh, why did I bring that up? Because now we're going to look at the fiscal multiplier. And you can see, well, it's a multiplier. The numerator is the same. The numerator is 1. But what is the denominator? It's 1 minus the marginal propensity to consume, or it's been shortened to 1 minus C, 1 minus consumption, okay? And the marginal propensity to consume is the proportion of additional income that is spent on consumption. So if my income goes up, okay, there's two things that I can do with it. I can increase my consumption, or I can increase my uh, savings, okay? So you can see the complement of the marginal uh, propensity to consume is the marginal propensity to save. So we can see if I if my income goes up and I'm a 10% saver, then my uh, I would increase my consumption by 90%. Okay. So if my income went up by a thousand dollars, I would consume $900 more, and I would save $100 more. Okay. So the fiscal multiplier is a measure of the effectiveness of fiscal policy, and is the change in output for a change in spending or taxation. And you can see that the marginal, uh, or C, the marginal propensity to consume, it has to be above uh, zero, but less than one. That makes sense. And if we add in taxes, then it would just be uh, fairly easy to remember. It would be one divided by one minus C times one minus the tax rate, okay? So if government spending increases by the same amount as the increase in taxes, uh, output rises because C is less than one. And we'll just finish this LOS with one quick practice question. Which of the following best represents a contractionary fiscal policy? A, public spending on high-speed railway. B, a temporary suspension of payroll taxes. Or C, a freeze in discretionary government spending. I think that question was pretty easy. We're looking for a contractionary fiscal policy. A, public spending on high-speed railway. Well, that's putting money into the economy from the government. That's going to be an expansionary fiscal policy. A temporary suspension of payroll taxes, that's going to reduce taxes, that's going to increase uh, savings and consumption. So that's going to expand the economy. So finally, C, a freeze in discretionary government spending, freezing spending, less spending, that's the contractionary fiscal policy. Okay, quite an easy question. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.